happy Wednesday. This is Pastor Robin, and I am so glad that you are able to join me again as we uh, explore the Psalms. Today, we're going to be reading Psalm 115, 115. Hear now this word. Not to us, Lord, not to us, but to your name be the glory, because of your love and faithfulness. Why do the nations say, where is their God? Our God is in heaven. He does whatever pleases Him. But their idols are silver and gold made by human hands. They have mouths but cannot speak, eyes but cannot see. They have ears but cannot hear, noses but cannot smell. They have hands but cannot feel, feet but cannot walk. Nor can they utter a sound with their throats. Those who make them will be like them, and so will all who trust in them. All you Israelites, trust in the Lord. He is their help and shield. House of Aaron, trust in the Lord. He is their help and shield. You who fear him, trust in the Lord. He is their help and shield. The Lord remembers us and will bless us. He will bless his people Israel. He will bless the house of Aaron. He will bless those who fear the Lord, small and great alike. May the Lord cause you to flourish both you and your children. May you be blessed by the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. The highest heavens belong to the Lord, but the earth he has given to mankind. It is not the dead who praise the Lord, those who go down to the place of silence. It is we who extol the Lord, both now and forever. Praise the Lord. This hymn, the psalm, is so wonderful. Because it, it does exactly what, what often I pray for. And, and I begin my prayers many times with, God, you are God, and I am not. There's so much comfort to that. And that's exactly how this, this psalm begins as well, that, that you are God and I am not. That's what David is saying at the very beginning of this. It's to your name we glorify nothing else. Of course, David here is talking about other nations that have other gods, that that they worship other gods. Today, though, what is the God? Who is the God? Or really, truly, what is the God that you worship? I was looking at something that I think we have a tendency uh, to worship, and I'm just going to flash the, the back side of these. But what are these? What are these? They're credit cards, are they not? They represent today money. And I think often that that's what our idols are. Our idols are money and wealth and power. And David is warning us of that. For what what can those idols do for us? Well, sure, we need them to to purchase things in order for us to live. Uh, Right now, I know Many of you are using those uh, that you have to have money in order to be able to go see a doctor. But can money truly save you? Can money buy you happiness as the song goes? Or as the Beatles say, can money buy you love? No, no, it can't. And so what David is saying is make sure that you're careful who you're worshiping. And he's asking questions to all of of the the houses, all of the tribes, when he says, House of Aaron, trust in the Lord. He is their help and shield. It's God who will help us. It is God who saves us. It is God who is the great physician, the one who will heal us personally, but also heal this world. It will be God. It has been God. It says, You who fear him, trust in the Lord. He is their help and shield. Fear here doesn't mean um, being afraid or anxious or, or this terror of God. Instead, it is a fear that means uh, it's, it's a love kind of fear. It's, it's meaning that um, I fear him, meaning that I love him and he loves me and that that my fear of him is not this emotional upheaval of terror. 
Instead, it is a joyful exclamation saying, I know who you are. You are God. You are the one who created me. You are the one who created everything that I have. And so this fear that I have is not a fear of terror, but it is a joyful remembrance, a joyful understanding. It's dwelling with God, who is God, and I am not. I love how David exclaims them over and over and over again. He talks about God's blessing and how God will bless us and how God will be my help and my shield. God will be your help and your shield. No idol, no other God can do that. Only the triune God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Only our God can do that. And he says that our God, our God is the one who will cause us to flourish. It's, it's not the money that we have. Or the money that we have in the bank or the money that we have on us, that's, that's not us. That's not what's going to help us. That is such a short-lived thing, the things that we have here on earth. We hear Jesus tells us, do not, do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth. Rust and they, he talks about rust and moths. They feed on these things. But instead, store up for yourselves treasures in heaven. I believe that when Jesus was talking about that, when he was quoting that, that he was actually going back to this Psalm of David, Psalm 115, in which he remembers David's words to not trust in false gods but trust in the God, a God, and, and David says this, a God who is in heaven, who is waiting for us to show us that there is something so much better than this world. There's heaven, and Jesus tells us there's eternity, and for that we are so grateful. Listen again to the end. I love the, the last words. The highest heavens belong to the Lord, but the earth he has given to us. It is not the dead who praise the Lord, those who go down to the place of silence. It is we. It is we who praise the Lord, both now and forevermore. And then he ends with, praise the Lord, because he wants you to hear that he is one who knows the true God. So today, who do you worship? Who is your God? If it is the triune God, and I know it is, then shout with me. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen.